So what do we look for in a batch record review? Uh, there are certain things called critical processing parameters and critical quality attributes. Um, their uh, initials are CPP and CQA. Uh, they are assigned as each product is being manufactured or researched or developed. Um, they are things that are um, necessary for the proper manufacture of the batch. So when you're developing a new product or a new product is in the pipeline, you're going to want to develop some of these um, CQAs and CPPs um, and, and basically say, you know what, the product cannot be made uh, compliantly without these uh, parameters in place. Uh, in addition, obviously, as we go through our daily lives in the biopharmaceutical industry or medical device industry, um, you always want to make sure that you institute good documentation practices. Um, the good documentation practices always need to be followed when um, dealing with batch records, uh, any type of documentation, um, even um, things that you're doing electronically. So if you have a hard copy paper batch record, obviously the good documentation uh, parameters and practices actually do apply. Uh, we'll go through those a little bit um, next in our, in our few slides. But electronically as well, you want to make sure that all of your test scripts include good documentation practices when you are uh, validating uh, your program for uh, electronic batch records as well. 